Hey everyone! The other day I decided to make my daughter a little tiny chair. I had been shopping for something like this for a little while, but then I remembered that I have a few chunks of pretty decent quality upholstery foam. I've had them for years. I actually got them when we first moved to Louisiana, which was like almost 10 years ago, and I used them for our couch, but a few couches later, I don't use them for the couch anymore and they've just kind of been floating around in my craft room. As you guys probably know, I'm a craft hoarder, so any good material that has any sort of potential, I just can't bring myself to throw it away. So these have been taking up a lot of space in my craft areas for years because I was just waiting for the right project to come along. And finally, here we are. I had Penny help me pick out her fabric that she wanted for it, so it was kind of cool to let her make decisions on this project. Even though it was like I was showing her two different fabrics and she just grabbed whatever. She's too young to be like, I like this one, I like this one. But I mean, whichever one she gravitated towards first, I figured would be her favorite one. So let's get started. Here's my phone. I have these two pieces that are 36 by 22 by 6 inches. There's some batting fabric that I had glued onto them way back when they were couch cushions, but I figured that it wouldn't be a problem for this chair. So now I just cut out all of my foam pieces. Bread knives are great for cutting foam. For the back, I cut a 24 by 18 inch piece. For the bottom, a 14 by 12 inch piece. And for the arms, I did 12 by 12. And I also shaved off an inch from the width so that they're five inches wide instead of six inches wide, like the rest of the foam. I glued the foam together using upholstery adhesive. So here it is, all good and stuck together. And now to cover this thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to explain all the pattern pieces clearly. I'll also have like a little image of them up here on the screen. So hopefully it's not too confusing. So the top back piece was like a T-shape, 24 inches along the top and then 12 inches down, five inches in, six inches down, 14 inches over, six back up, five out, and finally 12 back up. Also, for all of these pattern pieces, after I drew them, I went back and added a half inch seam allowance. So for the side pieces, I cut two mirrored L-shaped pieces, 18 inches wide, 18 inches tall, six inches over, six inches down, 12 over, and then 12 back down. For the seat and inside of the arms, I intended to just cut one big piece spanning from the top of one arm down to the seat and then up to the other arm. So that would have been 36 inches by 12 inches. But because of the fabric pattern and how I wanted the design to lay, I couldn't cut that long of a piece. I ended up cutting it into three pieces, two for the arms and then one for the seat. If I was using a pattern that was omnidirectional or a flat color, then I wouldn't have bothered doing the three pieces. I would have just done the one piece and called it a day. For the front piece, it was U-shaped, 24 inches wide, 12 inches tall, then 5 over, 6 down, 14 over, 6 up, 5 over, and then 12 down. And finally, for the back and the bottom, I cut two pieces, 24 by 18 inches. Again, I went back through and added the half inch seam allowance to all of these. Oh yeah, I also had two scrap pieces, about 7 inches by 5 inches, and I used these to make some handles. Whew, 
Now for sewing. So since I didn't cut the long strip for the arm and seat part, I began by sewing those pieces together. And then from there I matched the long edge of this piece to the top and inner part of the U-shaped piece. And then for the other edge of the strip, I matched up to the bottom part of the T-shaped piece. Then I took the back piece and lined up one 24 inch edge to the top edge of the T-shaped fabric. And then I took the bottom piece and lined up one 24 inch edge to the bottom of the U-shaped fabric. Before sewing on the L-shaped pieces for the sides, I did the handles. I took the scrap pieces and folded them, right sides touching, and then sewed up the long edge. I flipped it right side out and then sewed along the sides to give it a nice finished look. I did this for the other piece, and then I sewed each piece onto the top part of each L-shape. about halfway down of the little top of it. This is pretty much to just keep them in place while I sew the rest of it together. With the L-shaped pieces, I lined up the back 18 inch edge with the back of the 18 inch edge of the L. From there, I went through and matched up the edges. I was pretty surprised actually at this point. Usually when I'm doing a sewing project, especially something that's kind of big like this and has a lot of measurements, I tend to mess up a couple times. But surprisingly, with this one, I didn't really mess up at all. I didn't have to undo any of my stitching, which like hasn't happened in a long time, so that was kind of nice. Once everything was sewn together, I flipped it right sides out. And then I started pulling it over the foam. I left three edges along the bottom open so that it was easy to pull over the foam. Actually, it might have been impossible if I only left like one or two edges only. This foam doesn't really like squish down too much. like a pillow, how when you're doing a pillow you only leave like a couple inches open so you can like stuff it and then only have to sew up that little bit. This foam I wouldn't have been able to do that so I had to leave a lot of it open. So initially along these three edges I wanted to have a big long zipper so that if I ever wanted to take it off, if there was ever a spill that couldn't be addressed by spot cleaning, I'd be able to just remove the cover and throw it in the wash. But I didn't end up getting a zipper that's long enough. I did get a zipper, but I had a brain fart when I was getting it and it was only long enough for like one edge. And then at that point I just wanted to get the project done, so I just nixed the zipper totally. Anyway, I was pretty nervous to fit this thing over the foam because like I said, I haven't done a sewing project where it was like mistake free for a long time and I don't know, I just anticipate that there's going to be some kind of problem that pops up. But surprisingly, it went on and fit pretty great. Thank goodness my measurements were good because this thing fit like a glove. However, as I was admiring my handiwork, I realized that the L-shaped pieces I had cut upside down. <laughs> so the design of the pattern is upside down. Oh well, it's too late to go change it now. So then I hand sewed the three edges at the bottom to close it up. was done. Or so I thought. I brought the chair out to Penny's play area and she immediately started playing with it, playing on it, which was nice because I'm really used to making stuff for my cats where I spend all this time making something for them and I put it down and they just ignore it. So it's a lot more exciting with a kid who gets excited about stuff that I make for her. Anyway, 
I put the chair down, she started playing with it, playing on it, and then I realized the fabric in the seat area, whenever she would bounce around on it or like get off of it and kind of scoot her butt along it, it would pull the fabric with it, kind of taking it out of the seat, if that makes sense, and it just kind of looked a little sloppy. I mean, it's not that big of a problem, it's just an aesthetic thing, but I wanted it to stay nice and flat, so my solution to that was to cut a thin piece of foam, this one is one inch wide, to the dimensions of the seat, and then to cover that, basically making a little cushion for the seat. And then once I fit that into the little seating area, it keeps the fabric in place and nice and flat and looking good. I actually was going to sew this in, like hand sew it in to place, but this fabric tends to like kind of stick to itself. So I actually didn't really need to sew it in at all. And here it is, all done. seems to love it, so I'm happy with it. <sighs> and well, maybe I will sew that cushion into place. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!